Welcome to Cross Country. We begin with a Fox News alert. Bullets fly outside a Milwaukee grocery store, leaving two people dead and sending a third victim to the hospital. A witness telling local reporters that a man came into the El Rey grocery store yelling. Security reportedly escorted him out, and police say the suspect then shot and killed a man and injured a nearby woman. Security then shot that suspect, killing him. So here we are again. More lives lost. I travel across the country each and every week, from Chicago to New York, from Los Angeles to Dallas. I've been there. I've talked to the grieving families, law enforcement, and political leaders. This week, sadly, it was a little bit different. It hit home. It was personal. My colleague Gianno Codwell lost his brother, Kristen. He was only 18. I talked with Gianno before the funeral today, and one question kept repeating in my head. What is the magic number? How many will it take? What's going on in Chicago right now is unacceptable, and everybody knows it. Families deserve answers, and they deserve action. Unfortunately, the city's mayor, Lori Lightfoot, is preparing to flee the scene of the crime. Lightfoot is spending her city's taxpayer funds to travel to London and Paris to promote the economic prosperity of her state. But the mayor doesn't understand there is no pursuit of happiness without life. Meanwhile, the county DA, Kim Fox, may have a domestic violence case. We are being let down by people that look like us, that say they care about us. But when we need a hero, they are nowhere to be found, unless it's election time. These kids that are being slaughtered every day won't get the chance to vote. So the big question is, when will it end? This has to change. And if Christian is the... If Christian's life is the push forward for this, then that's what we're gonna have to do. But his life and legacy will mean something, brother. His life and legacy will mean something. And I'm gonna work tirelessly to ensure that it does. Kristen, you mattered. And Gianno, we stand with you, brother. I asked the folks in Chicago what they want to see done about the violence in their own city and in cities across America. Here's what they had to say, watch. Do you feel like crime is a big issue? Definitely it is, yeah. I mean, there's been crime going on a lot lately, and especially with these shootings that have been taking place, mass shootings and things like that, it's, it's awful. Do y'all feel like the crime in the country is a big issue? 100%. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. I mean, it's, uh, it's getting crazier and crazier, it seems. I definitely think crime is an issue throughout the country. It seems like it's, uh, it's getting worse. I guess by the weeks. It's unfortunate that it's this way. I don't know really what the solution exactly is going to be, but I think there's a lot of inaction, which is really the worst thing you could be doing. You feel like the leaders are doing a appropriate job in addressing the problem? No, I think a little bit more could be done for sure. Do you think the leaders are doing a sufficient job to address everything that's happened? I don't think so. They have to t make a major change. Um, I don't appreciate it at all, and I feel unsafe even on public transportation. Some are trying to do things, but then you obviously have some that seem like, you know, they're not. Um, and I definitely think more can be done. There's always room for improvement. So um, I'd say what's going on now, it's definitely not enough. I definitely think more gun control is needed, but I know that's a bigger issue at hand also with mental health, so I address that as well. But I think that definitely more needs to be done rather than just brushing over the issue. I don't think they really care. Mm about the issue. I think they just care about how they're living. Have you changed the way that you do life ever since the crime has started to go up? Oh, very much so. I stay at home. I go to work and stay home. I don't even go out in the city and I enjoy the city. It doesn't necessarily hinder me from doing stuff, but makes me more vigilant and, you know, make sure I'm always leave with people because you don't know. You just never know. I've always been careful being a woman living solo in the city. So, you know, if I'm ever walking at night, I make sure I have a buddy with me. Um, you know, I spend a lot on Ubers, but that's just how life has to be. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.